today I have the chance to be with uh, Silvia Castelvi. Hello, Silvia. Hello, Flavian. It's a pleasure to have you. Um, Silvia, uh, you have, you are part of uh, the International Data Space Association, where you are a senior consultant, mm -hmm. and you have more than 20 years of experience in standardization uh, through uh, different organizations in which you have been active, such as Atos for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, from this experience, what are for you the key challenges you see uh, related to interoperability in Europe today and also more specifically in the domain of the data spaces? Okay, in interoperability, no, for uh, if we are talking about data sharing, and this is uh, what we with uh, data spaces facilitate how to share data. What is clear is that we need to achieve interoperability between different companies inside one data space, but also uh, we need to, to identify how between different data spaces, different use cases or sectors, we achieve this interoperability. So for that, we need to define a governance inside data spaces, but also how to achieve interoperability between data spaces. And you may ask, and what is about interoperability? Uh, we can, the, the new European um, interoperability framework defines the interoperability in four layers. So we, we need to achieve the technical interoperability, but also the semantic interoperability, how to understand between different uh, companies, between different sectors on how to share data. And here there is a lot of opportunities to develop a lot of challenges to, to develop. And um, you mentioned governance is a, a key challenge. Uh, can you give some examples where governance you believe is really um, blocking today interoperability? Wow, blocking, <laughs> yeah. Uh, when, we, when we talk about governance, okay, um, the governance is required at different levels. For example, we need a governance uh, in order to, 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 to use the same technologies to achieve the interoperability. But we need governance to, to understand each other. And then we need governance when we agree in, inside the, or between organizations inside a data space, how we are going to negotiate the data sharing. Uh, and then when we talk about governance at this level, we are identifying which policies we define for data sharing, which rules we are going to follow. And then uh, at, at um, data space level, we define this governance as common rules that then every party, when they negotiate how to share data, they can use these policy rules and implement for establishing the, the connection or the, the data sharing. That's interesting. Um, and this is also an area where I believe IDSA, but also the Data Space Support Center are quite active in uh, to define those building blocks in the blueprint, which mm. uh, support the, the agreements that have to be made, uh, those governance policies uh, that have to be agreed between actors of uh, one data space or across data spaces. Um, so what is exactly the role that you would see for CEMIC uh, next to those actors who are already very active in the, the area of the data spaces? That's a very pertinent question because uh, CEMIC is working on interoperability for, for public sector and cross-border for a lot of years. So CEMIC has uh, great achievements, developments that can contribute to data spaces, how to achieve it. And now we have the Data Space Super Center project working also on providing these building blocks for interoperability. So the synergies are clear. To, to share best practice and to, to achieve a common uh, interoperability framework for, for Europe. So, yeah, I see. And, and then that's, that's great to hear. Um, from looking a bit more deeper, um, if we talk about collaboration between CEMIC and the DSSC, uh, the Data Space Support Center, uh, what are examples of collaboration mm -hmm. you would see in the coming month, for instance? Okay. 
Uh, at this moment, uh, uh, as part of the community of practice of DSSC, we have uh, different data spaces on energy sector working on how to define a common e energy interoperability framework. Mm -hmm. And as you know, the energy sector is highly regulated by the, the governments. So I see clear that here we can define an energy interoperability framework that fulfills also SEMIC rules for uh, sharing data with governments. So there is an opportunity to define use cases that goes beyond the, the B2B or the, the the sector going in, or in involving the the public uh, government on on this data sharing. Another example is the the trust. Uh, sorry, the Turin's data space. We uh, under the the community of practice of uh, data space support center. We have the project dates that has defined the Turin's blueprint. So. Turims in this community we have also public sector because Turims has a, a strong component from uh, public sector support on, on deployment. So here we see another opportunity to, to define together with public sector how to achieve this interoperability. Thank you. And then um, the DSCC, other actors like IDSA are defining uh, high level or uh, generic building blocks mm -hmm. for all data spaces to be built. But we know that, as you mentioned in the, in the different examples, there are several domain specific data spaces that are being implemented at the same time. Mm -hmm. So how do we bridge the gap between um, this theoretical framework and uh, those specific activities running in parallel when it comes to ensuring interoperability in the future? And I'll be a bit more specific because what we see is today it's already a big challenge to agree within a data space on agreements to ensure interoperability. Mm -hmm. So there is sometimes simply a lack of options or lack of resources for uh, those actors within a data space to look beyond yeah. their data space to actually say, okay, but am I sure uh, what I'm creating will actually be interoperable with what others are creating in parallel? So do you have some, some takes on this? Uh, or concrete examples uh, of ideas how this could be achieved um, uh, across data space, this, uh, this interoperability. Okay, uh, to, if you ask me for concrete examples, I will propose, um, we have agreed that uh, semantic interoperability is a challenge. And inside the semantic interoperability, what is missing is the creation of vocabularies at sectorial level. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, as you have said, sometimes we develop things that has been developed in other sectors, but we have not communicated. So uh, on IA International Data Space Association, for example, we have realized of this fact, and we have created what we call the Vocabulary Hub. That is a tool, could be, it's, uh, let's say it's a framework, and then you have different tools that support you to create and share these vocabularies. So this is an example of practical thing that we can do in a collaborative way. That's yeah. great. So those are concrete things uh, yes. that CEMIC, DSSC, IDSA, yeah. and other actors uh, could further investigate together. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for uh, those answers and for being today. Thank you for inviting me to to stay here and share my knowledge. Thank you.